Hi there, and welcome back to Toy Thomas Presents a Google Drive How To. This is Google Drive How To, 2 of 10. This is Lesson 2.0, How to Access Google Drive. We will start in our either Gmail or Google account on our PC or Mac desktop. I will be using a PC in the video. So let's start in Chrome. If you aren't currently using Chrome, please consider it. Um, all of the Google apps work best in Chrome, but please note that it is not mandatory at all. You can totally use these in other places, and I will actually show you how to access it in other browsers later. So the first thing you want to do is look for the Google Apps icon. It looks like a grid of dots, and here it is. When you roll over, it actually says Google Apps. I will show you where to find it on the search engine, which I just did, and also in your Gmail. If you need to find it somewhere else, just let me know. So if you go into the Gmail, and there is the Google Apps icon again. So you can access it pretty much anywhere from within um, Google. So from there, I'm going to click the Google Apps icon, all kinds of apps will be available to you. You want to focus on looking for the Drive icon, which is the tricolored triangle that says Drive. You're going to click on that one time, and voila, you have made it to Google Drive. You now have access to Google Drive. So, if you don't currently have a bookmark or shortcut to access your Google account or your Gmail account, I suggest setting one up. Um, that way it'll always be easy to find and access. So I'm going to close out of this real quick, and I'm going to go back to the beginning. Now, clearly, I already have Google set up as my landing page because I am in Chrome. I believe that is the default in Chrome, but you can change it. So we're going to start with the bookmark. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the page that you want to bookmark. This works for Google or anything else you might want to bookmark. So once you are on the page that you want to bookmark, you're going to go to the star at the top in the right corner, and it actually says bookmark. So you're going to click on that. From here, you have the option to keep the name as is, change it, do whatever you want there. I suggest saving it to your bookmark bar. As you can see, my bookmark bar is very full, but um, that's where I'm going to save it for now. There are other options available, so if you want to put it somewhere else, go ahead. So I would click Done, and it's going to go to the end of mine, which is down here. So at this point, I can drag it to move it somewhere else if I want to, and I can also, um, if let's say this is too full and I want to get rid of something, I can right click and delete to get rid of it. So that is the quickest way to do a bookmark in Chrome. So now if you would like to set up a landing page so that you don't have to, you know, look for bookmarks or anything like that, it pops up automatically. I check my Gmail several times a day, so it just makes sense for me to have it as my landing page. This is how we're going to do that. So again, you want to start, make sure you're on the page that you want to be the landing page, and I'm there already in Chrome. You're going to go to the far right corner and you're going to look for three vertical dots. Once you click on the free on the three vertical dots, you're going to go down to settings and click. Once you are in your settings, you're going to scroll down to appearance. Now, this should already be set, but if it's not, you want to make sure the home button is selected because this little house is your home button. If it's not selected, you won't be able to click back to go home. And right now, my home is currently set as the Google landing page. So you want to then scroll down to where it says On Startup. And there's a couple of options here. I have selected a specific page or set of pages. And as you can see, Google is that option. If that's not currently your landing page, you could then add a page, type in that URL or that link, and voila, that will be set. So that is accessing the Drive, Google Drive, from Chrome and 
pretty simple. Now, you can also do the same thing in another browser. I also have Firefox on my computer and I also have Microsoft Edge. For right now, I'm going to show you Microsoft Edge. So let me close this out and go into Edge. So right now the landing page is set up for their um, landing page. Um, Microsoft Edge uses Bing. So if you don't want to see Bing, I'll show you how to change your landing page later. Um, and let's see, so if you know, if you didn't have this little bookmark already set up, you would just have to type into the search field, um, either here or here, you know, you would have to type in Google here to search for it, to find it, and then um, maybe set it up as a bookmark or a landing page later. Um, I already have it, so I'm just going to click on it. And it's going to look pretty much just like it did over on Chrome. I am logged into a different account here, so it does look different in that respect. But there's my Gmail. Here are the grid of dots. These are the apps. I'm going to click on it. Here is my drive icon. There it is. Now, I have pre-organized a lot of my stuff, so when you click on the grid of dots, Drive may not be right up at the top. You may have to scroll down to find it. I'll talk about that later. So that is how you access this. I currently use Google Drive in Microsoft Edge, in Chrome, and in Firefox, and I'm logged into a different account with each one. If you don't have multiple accounts, don't do all that. Just pick whichever browser works best for you. If you're in a Mac, uh, you might be using like Safari or something, or maybe you're using like Internet Explorer or something old like that. Whatever you're using, that's fine. Okay, so now if you don't have the landing page or shortcut set up, I'm going to show you how to do that in Microsoft Edge. I'm going to go back to the beginning here, the home page. So the quickest thing to do is to set up the bookmark. In Microsoft Edge, they're actually called favorites. So um, I'm going to go, let's say I searched for, you know, Google again. I found it. And then I would click here to add it to my favorites. Just like before, you can alter the name. You can pick where you want to save it. If you want to save it somewhere different, I suggest saving, saving it to your favorites bar and then click done. And just like with the other one, if you need to move things around, you can drag and drop and you can right click to delete and that'll clean that up for you so now you have a quick access to your google account in your microsoft edge you can also set up the landing page so again you want to make sure you're on the page that you want to make your landing page and we're already there um, in chrome we were looking for three uh, vertical dots here we go to the top right corner and we look for three horizontal dots we click there we go down to settings once we are in our settings, we are going to go to On Startup, and we have the same options here. We want to open a specific page or pages. Click Add New to add in Google um, Search Engine as your landing page. I don't want to set that for me right now, but that's what you would do. And that's pretty much how you do that um, in Firefox as well. Um, if you feel like you need to see that specifically, let me know. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to turn it over to the next way you can access your Google Drive and that is on a smart device like a smartphone or a tablet. I will be using my iPhone um, in this video and um, it pretty much works the same way on Android devices um, but if you do have more questions about that let me know. So the first thing you're going to do is go to wherever it is you um, download apps on my iPhone, I'm going to go to the App Store. Once I'm there, I'm going to search for um, Google Drive. <laughs> Sorry about that. So search for Google Drive. I already have it here in my cloud, so I don't need to I'm actually like click on it to download it, but you would click on it to download it. And then once it downloads, it will say open. So then you would open it. And I'm already logged in with several accounts, but you would log in using your Gmail or some other Google account that you already have. If you don't have multiple accounts, don't worry about multiple accounts. Just log in with what you're going to use. Now, the difference between um, the 
the smart devices and your uh, PC is you will have to download each individual app that you want to use with Drive separately. So for example, on your PC or Mac, once you access the Drive, you also have access to Docs, Sheets, Slides, etc. On your smart device, you will have to download each one separately. And I suggest putting them in a folder. I'll get to that in a second. So return to your app store or wherever you download your apps on your device and only download the additional apps you will need. If you're not going to need slides or something else, then don't download them. So once you have all of the Google apps that you want, um, to just putting them in a folder and this is how you do that. This process also works the same on most Android devices. So the first thing that you want to do is press and hold down the app icon that you want to start with. So since we're doing Drive, press and hold down your Drive icon and move it and hold on to it until the whole page becomes edible. You'll see that because things will look different. They'll be like shaking or moving or something, and that lets you know that you can edit some things. You're going to continue to hold down that app and you're going to drag it to another Google app. Once those two are together on top of each other, let go and they will be in a new folder. You're going to repeat this process to get all of your Google apps into that new folder that you just created. Um, so once you have all of your apps together, you can click the top of that new folder to change the name if the auto-generated name um, is not applicable. So once you're done, you can either click the home button on your phone or for some devices there is a done option at the top that you would click on. And that is how you access Google Drive on different browsers and on different devices. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys are getting something positive out of this free course. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it might be helpful to someone else, please share it. It's totally free. I'll be posting the installments to these to these videos on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays over the next few weeks. Uh, please consider subscribing to this channel so and ring the bell so that you'll get notifications when I post something new. Again, I apologize that comments are disabled for these videos. That is an exclusive thing that I'm offering to my patrons along with the transcript. Um, if you want to leave me a comment, check my about page or visit my website or consider becoming part of my patron community at the creator or tribe level. It's pretty affordable. I do want to mention that this particular lesson does come with a Patreon exclusive follow up, but that follow up doesn't interfere with the overall course material in any way. So until next time, this is Toy saying stay safe and be blessed.